What's up you guys? Today, heading out to look at an engine. We're loading up the engine picker and we're gonna see if it really is what they're saying it is. Let's go check it out. Holy thing is heavy. <laughs> here it is the newest purchase a ford 428 fe and we're gonna find out right now if this is a true 428 cobra jet the legendary engine that came in all these high performance vehicles like the 69 ford cobras and the 68 mustang fastbacks so is this a redemption story from the ford 428 that i lost at the junkyard well, let's find out. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the back of the block right here. And right away, we can see a C scratch right there. And I did a video on how to decipher a Ford FE. I'll put a link up here so you guys can check it out. But just like how I said in that video, there is just so many variations on these FE engines that sometimes it can be really hard to tell what it is just by looking at it. For example, somebody can advertise that they have a 428. Um, they may have the correct crank, but the block can be a 352 and they just overboard it to you know, make it into a 428. Uh, you'll end up putting this into your car, but then you'll find out that your engine keeps overheating because these cylinder walls are just paper thin. So you just got to watch out for that type of stuff. But this right here is a very good sign. The second thing I'm looking at is the crank. And right here we can see the lettering 1U, which is correct for a Ford 428 crank. If we take a look at Barry Robotnik's FE book, we can see that a 1U, a 1UA, or a 1UB is the correct one for the 428. But this is pretty funny right here. We can see that it says the absence of any stamping number does not preclude it from being one. So there you go, more variation of the Ford FE. So if you don't have any stamping on here, uh, you're gonna have to just measure the stroke the third thing that I'm taking a look at are the mains and we're looking at this area right here and we can see that there are three veins or three fingers coming out of the block right here is one two and three that means that this is a reinforced 428 block and I have the other 428 that I'm currently building. This is a passenger 428 from a 66 Thunderbird. And this one only has two fingers. Let's see if I can get some lights. You see that? So that reinforcement is not there. And just a quick note, the block numbers, they don't really help in deciphering the Ford FE. The C7ME-A can be a 390, it can be a 428, 
and it can be pretty much anything the same with the passenger 428 c6me can be a 390 as well so you can't really rely on that that's pretty much only good for figuring out the year the block was made so I've checked all of the indications and it points towards this being a 428 Cobra jet. We've got the C scratch on the back, we've got the 1U on the crank, and we've also got the reinforced webbing on the mains. But the Cobra jet blocks have a pretty distinct feature and it is the partial VIN number on the back right here. So you can see the 8 for 68, the J for the Los Angeles build plant and the 117508 consecutive number. But this is where some of the confusion comes up because this is an early 67 C scratch block, but the consecutive number does not start with a 135. Uh, if that were the case, then this would be part of the very first white 1968 mustang cobra jets that came out and those cars were pretty much made to showcase the brand new 428 cobra jet engine for that year so with that information we can pretty much say that this is not a true ford cobra jet um, it is however an early c code reinforced c scratch block so what makes a 428 a Cobra jet is the big question and I've been doing a lot of research there's some very good Cobra jet websites that that's all they talk about is the history of these Cobra jet engines and what I gathered is that it's all about application you know can you prove that this engine came out of a 68 Mustang or can you prove that it came out of a 69 Ford Cobra? That is what we are trying to find out. So it is all about the application of the engine. But uh, don't get me wrong, this is the exact same block that is used as the Cobra Jets. So I can see why people would label these Cobra Jets because they're the, exactly the same thing. But um, a big, big factor in determining the Cobra Jets are the heads as well. So let's take a look at some of the other parts that I got with this purchase. So these are some of the parts that came with the purchase. We've got some of the pulleys, the valve covers, and then the original super heavy cast iron intake. And what's cool about these parts is that they all match. You see that C8AE, we have the manifolds that match as well, C8AE, and here is the other one, C8AE. We've got the water pump right here, which again, C8AE, and then the most important pieces are the heads, and here are the head numbers, C8AE-H. So unfortunately, not Cobra Jet heads. Um, let's take a look at the book again. And right here, it will tell us that C8OE-N is supposed to be the original casting number. And since this is supposed to be a Cobra Jet head, it's supposed to have a 16 bolt exhaust pattern. And what they mean by that is that they're supposed to be two extra pair of bolt holes right here instead of just the two so that's it uh we fortunately not the cobra jet heads that would be really really cool because those heads are worth a pretty good chunk of change so there you go the conclusion is that this is a 1967 reinforced c scratch block and for 200 bucks i think that's a pretty good deal you know i like to think that this thing is like the grandfather to the cobra jet and as it was being built right at the last second this thing decided it did not want to be a cobra jet no way so it just wasn't meant to be just like that 428 that i lost but uh the condition of the block is it's not that great to be honest there is a lot of rust in this cylinder 
and some of the other ones I think will need some sleeves so I'm not sure if this can be salvaged or not um, I do know the crank is in pretty good condition so someone can make a, a 410 out of their 390 I think that would be super cool but uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on so you know no time to be sad here we've got the 428 that I'm building the heads should be here in a, in a day or two actually the 68 Mustang Fastback project and the 64 Galaxy that I'm excited to start working on again and we've got the 68 Torino that I drive pretty much every day so there you go and you know it is my birthday today so no no time to be sad no time to be sad always keep a positive mindset always keep going and keep motivated that's it hope you guys like the content please subscribe and comment i want to hear you guys opinions is this the redemption i think it is <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next one boom <laughs>